So the holidays are around the corner. First of all, I'm sunburnt, so just wanted to show that. Wow, I'm really red. So my skin is adjusting to these North Carolina rays. Anyways, the holidays are around the corner, so I figured I would make a video to kind of guide you guys through it. Number one, I'm just going to dive right in. Number one, what is your why? If your why for staying away from sweets and stuff like that is just to lose weight, I personally don't think that's enough. You're going to have to white knuckle through it if that's your why. I want you to find a deeper why. Maybe it should be that you're not in pain, your, your joints hurt, or you're just in pain. Maybe it should be that you want to feel more active. You want to you know, be more active with your cousin or your sister or your daughter. Maybe it's just to get healthier for your family in the future. Maybe it's for your mood, your mental health, emotional health. My why is because I had food addiction and I once used a diet as an idol in my life. And when I surrendered that, I realized we really are fearfully and wonderfully made and God does intend for us to honor our bodies because they are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so eating carnivore and eating animal based, I should say, because I'm not carnivore, I am heavily animal based. Some days I'm only meat, but many days I include variety now. Eating in a way with mindfulness is how I honor my body and take care of myself so that I can live my best life, so that my brain does work, so I can make videos and coach other people every day. I am not that person when I don't serve and honor my body properly with nutrition. That's my why, one of my many whys. I'm pregnant now. That wouldn't happen if I hadn't made a good decision about nutrition. Praise God for this pregnancy, but I play a role in this as well. I am responsible to taking care of my body and nutrition is a big part of that. So if I go to a holiday party, first of all, I am not tempted by the pie or anything I shouldn't be eating. I'm not tempted. Because I have lived through enough repercussions from food to know I'm not touching seed oils. I have zero interest in seed oils. Processed sugar, really no interest because I can make carnivore pumpkin pie or ketovore pump pumpkin pie. That makes me feel good and it doesn't spike my blood sugar. And so this brings me, this segues into my second advice is bring something. Bring something that you can enjoy. If you feel like you're gonna miss the pumpkin pie, make my pumpkin pie. It's made with protein powder, pureed pumpkin, eggs. It's amazing. It literally tastes like pumpkin pie. It's so good. And it's very carnivore friendly, but it's technically ketovore. And it's high protein and satiating. Bring that so that you can share it with other people and you can have a treat as well. I don't want you to show up to a party without a plan. So you do have to be a little proactive and bring something that you're going to enjoy. You can also, also eat before you go. So, you know, if I go to a holiday dinner, I'm probably just going to eat some turkey. I'm not interested in the sweet potatoes with brown sugar on top. Not interested in the rolls. Not interested in green beans. You know, what else does my family serve? You know, that's basically it. So I'm just going to eat a bunch of meat. And the fourth tip, or the third tip, third tip, is don't be embarrassed. You need to own it. Own your stuff. If you're already eating this way for a reason and you know what your why is, don't be ashamed of it. I'm proud of this. I'm proud of how far I've come. I'm proud of the decisions that I've made. I'm proud of having self-control and saying no to things that everyone else is eating and not just giving in. I'm proud of it. And I'm also happy to talk about it. I am. I love opportunities to share with people, yeah, I'm really only eating meat because I personally don't feel well when I eat processed sugar. I personally don't feel well when I eat seed oils. I feel my best when I eat mostly animal foods. And just leave it at that. That is an opportunity to plant a seed for someone else to improve their health. Don't be ashamed. I know that you might feel like the weirdo. Lisa Wiedemann says, waving her freak flag. <laughs> waving my freak flag. And that cracks me up because it does feel that way sometimes. There are going to be people who judge you. You know, there will be people at restaurants and people you go out with and even some of your own friends who think you're a weirdo. And that's okay. You do not live your life to please or pass some test or standard from other people. We're not here to do that. Again, even people who judge you, I almost 
100% guarantee that you have still planted a seed because someday they will run into health issues or mood disorders or you know arthritic pain or joint pain or something like that diabetes gut issues they're not gonna feel well and they're gonna remember hey this girl used nutrition because she wasn't feeling well you might be the person to help them connect the dots so again you might be planting a seed all right my last tip I had a little intermission uh, our new neighbor came over and invited us over for cheeseburgers tomorrow we're excited we love our neighbors so the last tip that I have for you guys is to dig deep and this is a little different than find your why what's your why it's literally just to enjoy the fellowship make the holidays more meaningful it always kind of upsets me how holidays are just about the food now Thanksgiving is just eating like I don't even think people a lot of people in this generation understand the heritage or the history behind Thanksgiving and I just want you to embrace why we're celebrating the holidays and if it doesn't mean anything to you then you're gonna have to come prepared you know if if you are going for the food then come prepared with your own food but if you're also like a person who understands the history behind Thanksgiving or you're a believer and you appreciate the meaning behind Christmas I just want you to dig deeper and really saturate yourself in that for the whole day and let let it be a day that you create precious memories and fellowshipping with family or you know new friends because it, it can just be so rich if you immerse yourself and kind of pull away from the distraction of all the food and just focus on conversation get yourself a plate of turkey or ham if it's glazed ham then go for the turkey and just immerse yourself in a conversation with someone you know put yourself outside of your comfort zone I'm looking forward to stepping outside of my comfort zone you know in my past in my childhood we would go to my uncle Pat and Aunt Juanita's house and they would serve the food and uh, my cousin Luke and myself and my sister we would all sit um, near the sunroom that they had and then we would go out for seconds get dessert and then eventually we say bye and that was pretty much it sometimes we would go for a walk which was fun sometimes we played uh, the Nintendo upstairs which was also fun but like that's my memory of Thanksgiving so now I'm an adult and I'm gonna be hosting Thanksgiving Tyler and I will be hosting at our new home for our families and we're gonna serve delicious food but what I'm excited about is investing in and loving people bringing those people into our home having those conversations and just creating memories that hopefully last a lifetime that is what these should be about so I really just want to encourage you you can do it don't run from the parties you can do it you have to own your stuff be confident have a plan be prepared uh, if you want my pumpkin pie recipe it's on my Instagram or send me a message and I will you know I can post it in the description for you guys but it, it it's a chance to make a difference and I can't tell you how many people have told me that they admire me for not eating certain foods always make it about yourself so they don't feel like you're judging them for eating pie like I don't I truly don't judge people for what they eat that's your choice it is not my place to judge you my responsibility is to take care of myself and there are a lot of people who admire that and appreciate it and need the encouragement everyone's got issues you guys nutrition affects everyone to some degree so if you just lead by example other people will be encouraged to do the same and maybe empowered to take a little bit more control of their own health if you have questions or comments as always please leave them below um, I hope that you guys really enjoy this season I hope that it's um, just like a, a, a lifting off point for you instead of an intimidating time of year where you're afraid you're gonna gain a bunch of weight that you have to lose before summertime let it be so enriched with intention and health focus and love and it will just be memorable and it will be a good time